In this video, we're looking at formative assessments and some great free tools that will help you get responses back faster from your students so you can adjust your teaching right then to meet their needs. It might help to start by reminding ourselves why we do formative assessments in the first place. In short, it's a way for us to look at whether what we're teaching is actually getting across to the students, and if not, to adjust and clarify and reteach until they do understand. It helps us to be more efficient with their teaching time when we give and receive feedback as we go. There are a lot of ways to do this, both formally and informally. Here are a few. In-class observation, for example, is one great way to see what students understand. It's very valuable to get out from behind the desk and spend as much time as we can interacting with and checking on our students. Not only does it let us give them feedback and ideas on the spot, it's a great way to build relationship with students and also assist with classroom management. A good teacher takes every chance to do this. But it can also be time consuming to check on every student one by one. Sometimes you don't have that option. Other common formative assessments may include quizzes or practice work. These can be really helpful in checking understanding, but it usually takes a day or two to get them graded and then return back to the student, and by that time the concept is no longer fresh in their mind, so it's not as effective. So how can we speed up this formative assessment for those times we want to know right now what they understand? Maybe we can borrow an idea from the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? In the show, contestants have the option to use several lifelines. One of them is to ask the audience. In just a few seconds, they can see what everyone in the room thinks about the current question. Can we poll our students in the same way? Let's take this example from a history class. The teacher had a bell ringer at the beginning of class to help see if the students understood the concept from the day before. He was doing this in Blackboard. What if we instead put this into a Google form? It would let us create the same questions, multiple choice or open-ended responses. The students could then complete the form and fill in their answers and then we would see those answers as they are completing them live. When we got all the answers in it would be very easy to go to the form and show a summary of responses and this would show exactly by question who got the question right. What were the most common answers? Did the students understand the topic or is this something we need to go back and clarify again? This would be very similar to polling the audience and seeing what they know and what they still have some questions about. We can also try one called Socrative. Here's the concept. Every teacher has a room number. Students will log into that room and the teacher will set up any type of question. For example, a multiple choice question. It will wait for students to respond, which they can do using their laptop or any mobile device with internet access. As students enter their answers, it will be shown live on the teacher's panel. Socrative is a great um, tool that is web-based um, for teachers to use for formative assessment. Um, what I like about it is that it's free um, and it's for education and it helps us with different types of formative assessment. Um, for example, we have a multiple choice and the students can see um, what the most popular answer choice was and it could be about any question. It really takes very little um, preparation on the teacher's part because most of the um, questions are oral um, that you answer or you could have a pre-printed quiz that you could use all day um, to save paper and the students put their answers into their computers or their phones if they have Wi-Fi. Um, so any type of quiz they can take on their phone they're very excited about. Which picture of the cell displays anaphase? Which picture? Oh, I have eight results. Eight results. So this is what I'm seeing. So does that mean that D is correct? Um, I had seven students that chose answer choice A and B that obviously didn't understand the concept I was trying to, to teach. And so I was able to talk to those seven students anonymously, I mean, as a whole group saying, look, A is not the correct answer because, B is not the correct answer because, and um, address them without them feeling picked on or singled out, and it just creates a, a safe learning environment for them. It also allows for open-ended responses and then for students to go back and vote on those responses. Another great tool is TestMoz at testmoz.com. This will let you very quickly and easily create a test online and add any questions that you want to it. You can publish it and give it to your students to take. Once they finish taking the test, 
you get a detailed report of how everyone did their score and a breakdown by question. So in this case, you could easily tell that you needed to cover the topic in question one again. You can also export these if you want to put it into a gradebook later. The big idea is that formative assessment is really valuable and technology tools like Google Forms, Socrative, and Tesmos can help you quickly find out what your class knows and adjust your teaching on the spot. Give it a try and you might find it to be a useful addition to your teaching toolkit.